All right, this is my 60 second uh, daily vlog for Instagram. The Instagram limit is 60 seconds, so I'm gonna keep it 60 seconds, but maybe I shouldn't be mentioning Instagram because uh, I'm actually at the YouTube space and I was here for a presentation and he was talking about how we are lobbying the government. I'm like, oh right, YouTube is owned by Google and Google owns YouTube, so this is all, this is not like some utopia, this is like a business here. Anyways, I'm showing you behind the scenes of YouTube creators. Um, <clears throat> this is uh, the YouTube space, and uh, Google's got money, so they're, uh, they've got little sandwiches over there, and little desserts, and I've been trying to have more vegetables before I eat the desserts, because, you know, uh, I want to be slim for my future YouTube videos. And these are all creators, and uh, there's pillows, and this is Jewish Music Toronto, hey. so uh, I overheard you saying. Thank you. Um, wait, oh, that's right, I'm speaking into my little microphone here. Uh, what's your, so that's what we would look up on YouTube? Yeah, Jewish Music Toronto. The gist is I make videos about Jewish music. Ah, self-explanatory. Very good title then. Is are you doing any like hot Hanukkah songs coming up? Uh, I, I might be working on some stuff. I've got uh, two new shows that I'm actually working on right now that might be taking away time to make new videos for that. But I've got my show live with the Cantors. I've got a big interview coming up, a live stream interview on November 27th, 8 p.m. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll check that out. What do you, a live stream interview with who? Like a famous Jewish music? Oh, is it a Cantor? Uh, this is not a Cantor. In this particular case, the guy's name is A.B. Rotenberg. Okay. Uh, and he has done a lot of amazing stuff in the space. Uh, he's He's... Uh, some of the younger guy, uh, the younger folks might not know him, but you got to you got to trust me on this. If you like Jewish music, if you even have an inkling of checking out Jewish music, you have got to check out AB Rotenberg. Okay? Wow. Is he is he like okay? He's not the young hot thing. He's like the no, classic. He'd he's be like the the, the Neil Diamond of Jewish music in Toronto or something. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Um, it, go watch my interview with a guy named Shlomo Simcha. It's one of my it's one of my episodes of Live with the Cantors. It's actually the latest one. Okay. And we get into a little bit of discussion about AB Rotenberg because the two of them work together and they work together so well. They created this series called Aish. Okay. Uh, and it's currently two albums and he told me they're working on the third album right now. Wow. And it is it's phenomenal. The the music that they have produced together is just it's so beautiful. So good that there's a, there's, there's a trilogy. <laughs> yeah. is, it, is, trilogy. Is, is it better than the prequel trilogy in Star Wars? Uh, very different. Very, okay, different. very the different. The Jewish music space is very different. All right, cool. And so you, you do a YouTube show? Are you a podcast as well? Or? Um, I've been recording live with the Cantors on a separate audio device, so if I so choose, I can go into the podcast space. Branch out. But, uh, but there is this little bit, Live with the Cantors has a visual aspect to it because at the end of every show, the guest shows off something of personal significance to them. Yeah. So whether it's whether it's uh, a kippah, a fancy kippah, yeah. uh, or perhaps uh, a talit, which is a prayer shawl, or uh, a book, uh, yeah. a medal of honor, oh, wow. which like seriously, I, I've had people who've been given medals of honor on the show it's it's pretty amazing nice. thank you for so much time like oh you're just, welcome i don't even know who i'm speaking to right now this was supposed to be my 60 second report for instagram but i guess it's become like a 20 minute report for for oh you can see my sleep alarm has gone off already that's how long we've been talking let me going to bed now i don't know what it uh, i don't know what that He's means yeah that's, that's all right so yes i'm josh rackless uh i like to use the name celebrity josh now because it's easier to spell but i i like doing uh I do voice acting and comedy, and is this your, your sidekick, or no, you just I, met I him? Just met, he's a professor here at George Brown, oh. and also, uh, also oh. he's uh, a YouTuber, a YouTuber oh, yeah. Oh, which is, See, I was going to bring my actual handheld mic tonight, and I thought, well, nobody's going to want to talk to me, because it's all YouTubers, so, I, I, you know, so I'll just uh, speak into my headphones. This is my first event here. Are you kidding me? Oh, I want to talk to everybody. All right. I noticed you were mingling and saying hi to everyone. I'm like, oh, man, I've just been standing in the corner. I'm out, uh, but I'm going to, like, I'm trying. Well, it helps when you have a sparkly shirt, because everybody wants to talk to the sparkly shirt it's guy. Re it's really a shame that Spreadshirt doesn't allow this to be sold on, on the... On Spreadshirt? Its is, yeah. that, is that like a t-shirt printing company? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's like Zazzle or any of those. You're naming all these things? I, I only know Printful and Teespring. Yeah, it's, but so it's, uh, okay. it's sort of Teespring-ish, but it's, uh, it's all, you can do it all yourself. And okay. uh, again, there's no overhead, that type of thing. People can just go and they print off 
based on the amount of people. Yeah, yeah that's perfect. Products that you buy right then and there. So well, it's I've also teamed up with. Uh, do you know Arctic Printing? A R T I K dot com. Uh, it's not familiar. Okay, they're, they're just their little company, right, literally on the other side of the street here at Adelaide and Sherborne. I think I know A and R. No, Arctic is owned by uh, Saul. He's he's Israeli. Very nice guy. And if you mention Celebrity Josh sent you, he'll give you $25 off your order. So you can print off anything, T-shirts, whatever. He'll print sparkles. He has no, no troubles with sparkles. Cool. And what was your name again? My name is Billy Hoosh. That's my uh, YouTube namer. Billy Hoosh. Billy Hoosh. I make uh, comedy videos with my dad. He's 72, but he's funny as F. I just realized I can't even hear anything in this headphone, so what am I doing with sticking it in my ear? Your dad is funny as F. My dad is funny as F, and I'm happy to be here. The YouTubers, the bald YouTubers union here at uh, uh, the YouTube. We could form our little club. The YouTubers union, that was mentioned on CBC yesterday. With the whole with the whole thing that was happening with Lily Singh, they, they had the, uh, the media panel on yes, uh, yesterday, and they were talking about, uh, well, just burnout in general, but also, th there was there was some discussion about should there be a YouTubers union? And I was like, whoa, whoa. I don't like. Don't I would say that here. I, like, <laughs> I don't know. If, wow. Like I don't even know if I'm for that idea. She's pretty left wing, so I'm sure anything. Hey, yeah, socialism. Well, it, wasn't Lily, it, wasn't, it wasn't Lily Singh on the oh. panel. They were just talking about her. Oh, they were talking about her. Or no, wait. They were talking about her uh, decision to to step away from YouTube for a bit. She just stepped. She's stepping away from YouTube. Well, she's in movies no now and stuff. Now she's probably feels like she's beyond it. Well, it's also I think burnout uh, oh, yeah. because of just daily. Is it true she does two daily vlogs? I don't know. I did see her speak live, and I, I got a copy of her book, but uh, well, yeah. we, I didn't get to talk to her. Yeah, know. but uh, but the gist is, uh, as far as I know, she is stepping away from YouTube for an undisclosed amount of time. Well, this leaves an opening for us. We can capture, I'm sure we have the exact same audience. Oh, yes, yes. I, I know that everybody in that space wants to look at Jewish music and uh, and learn about Jewish we artists. Could, we could convince them. I don't know. All right. Well, I'll tell you, if you're a Lily Singh fan, I'm sorry, but now you got to focus on Jewish music in Toronto and Billy Hoosh and his dad. That's your new thing. So thanks for watching this special vlog from YouTube Space Toronto. You can see uh, how creative a space it is. And I'm sure I'll have these guys on my show in future. My arm is actually killing me now, so I can't even lift the phone up anymore. There you go. Oh, there you thanks go. so much. Ah, this was a bad That's idea. Oh, producer. oh, there we go. I could, I could extend my arm like this. This is good. All right. Well, I want. I, cool. I got it. Oh, all right. Well, actually, my my arm's not bad now. I, it was, it was just the bending of it that was killing me. Ah, do you? What part of Toronto are you in? Uh, I, I'm, I'm in uh, Bathurst and 401 area. Ah, very nice. Good Jewish area. I'm downtown. So yeah, all right. You can come down to my podcast studio sometime and Billy Hoosh can come. Bring your dad. Oh, <laughs> uh. I will. How do you spell Hoosh? H-O-U-S-H. Hoosh. All right. Like house, but with an H and, yeah. and, and no E. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, hopefully you'll bring your dad to the next party. Yeah. No, for sure. I'm uh, down. I'm down. He's bald too, so he's part of the union. Oh my God. He's allowed in. Yeah. He's allowed into our secret club. Excellent. We don't need you, you people with hair. Yeah. You be no. Yeah. You're good. Follicles. Yeah. 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 Make make sure those follicles are closed. No. No hair sprouting out of them. Yeah. I like my club. All right. <laughs> wow. All right. I guess I should have let you hold the phone. But all right, all right, uh, I'll, uh, I'll tag you guys below. Okay, shalom.